to do the rap and everything when I was a kid. We're the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. <laughs> engraved in our, our oh minds. Oh my yeah. god. We did we did the Pride Parade a few months ago in West Hollywood. Oh, uh, okay. And we must have sang the rap a million times. Oh. Fireball head, yeah that's me. The fans know it, it's no mystery. I'm bad, I'm cool, yes I'm a. You better beware, I know my stuff. Yeah. Over a thousand girls and um, they basically told us we could come and audition and it was uh, basically an open call. Gonna take it away from me. Not even that flag waving Americana, because I'm gonna hit her so hard they're gonna feel it in all 50 states. I'm gonna give her the Hawaiian crush. Yes, a thousand of us, and basically they were. They didn't tell us what it was for. They said um, it's for a TV pilot, and um, if you're athletic, it would be a plus, but you didn't need any experience. I mean, they were looking for all girls, all shapes and sizes, ethnicity and everything. Um, I had no wrestling experience. I didn't know what it was going for other than I was a dancer and a model and an actress, and I was in the right place at the right time. My agent sent me on the call and we got there, and a thousand girls. And so basically, a thousand girls, thousand wow. Girls. So if you've seen the Netflix show, Glow, yes, I have watched a little bit of it. So they're a smaller version. So when you see them around the ring on the bleachers, there's maybe about 25 girls. Mm -hmm. That was their smaller version of our thousand girls. Wow. So at that audition, they were looking for 12 girls. They had 12 characters already picked. And out of the thousand, they picked two of us. So Hollywood and myself were the two that came out of that audition. Wow. So then from there, they had all these other, you know, auditions and interviews and came up with the 12 of us that were trained by Mondo Guerrero. Yes, course, the great Mondo Guerrero. Great Mondo Guerrero from the, the Guerrero family. Guerrero Dynasty, yes. Yes. At 135 pounds from Honolulu, Hawaii, the Glow Champion, the Royal. Grew up and, and I was born and raised in Hollywood and I lived in Chavez Ravine and then we migrated east. I lived in El Sereno and then East LA and Alhambra. I was Miss Alhambra. Mm -hmm. I was oh, also okay. Miss LA Chinatown Friendship and uh, that was 1981, 1982 and then in 1985 I got nice. so They call me fatty, they call me pineapple hair. I'm going to show it to them. showing us what she's made of. Yeah! It's like, okay, they said, we'd like to see you be the Royal Hawaiian, so tell us something about yourself, you know? And I, I, I'm famous for the pineapple, right? So mm -hmm. I take the pineapple everywhere, and so my gimmick was crushing pineapples. So that's oh, what I man. do. So, you know, the emoji is my is my pineapple. So Love it. I have tons of wonderful gifts that I get from fans all over the world. and. Anything that has to do with a pineapple or a flower, those are my two, you know, signature items. Yep. And um, I get lots of wonderful gifts and things. And so as you can see, I got all kinds of pineapples and flowers and Love it. anything from Hawaii. So I'm buying of, something before yep. I, right now. As yep. soon as we're done with this, I'm, I got to yeah. get something so for the it, love. It kind of fell in my lap and I really just, it was like second nature. So sometimes we're at conventions and we'll see three generations. That's crazy. You know? And or we'll get the ones that they'll see the glow sign uh -huh. and they'll come up to the booth and then they look at us and they're like, who are you? <laughs> they're like, because they're looking for the girls on, on, uh -huh, of on course. the Netflix yeah. show, right? Uh, like, oh, oh, that's no, hilarious. No, no, no. The we're the girls, yeah, right? yeah. And they're like the OG girls, and I'm like, yeah. And they're like, what do you mean? And we're like, well, we did the original show back in the '80s, and they're like, what show? Wow. And like, you didn't even know there was a show. And they like, just know the Netflix no, they series. They just know the Netflix, and they loved it, right? Dang. So then we tell them about our show, and they're like, oh my god. And we show, you know, we we go on and we'll show them some of our our matches that are on YouTube. And they're that's like, ah. crazy. And then there's another sh another book that's coming out. It's called More Than a Wrestler by nice. Ken Ken Ken. Ken Ken. Yeah. Okay. And he's from Chicago, and he's done uh, a book on the Glow Wrestlers. It's called oh, More okay. Than a Wrestler. Um, Roxy Astor is one of 
I had her on my show. Okay, I had so Roxy, Roxy on my show years Roxy ago. Roxy came up with the name. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, I had so her on my show a long time ago. coming out. I'm not sure exactly when, mm. but we've got nice. some stuff coming up. That's so. awesome. Yeah, so Can I ask you one question? Yes, I've always been, you know, um, I've always wanted to know about this place and how it got uh, your experience with the Riviera Hotel. <laughs> My skirt! I'll raise your skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell so me a little the, bit about the Riviera Hotel? Yeah, the Riviera, so we went in December of 1985, we went to the Riviera to film the pilot. And the connection with the Riviera was, Rickless was Matt Simber, our director, that okay. was his friend. So Matt was the director, David McLean was the producer. Mm. So David McLean is also the producer for WOW, which is on today. Oh, yeah. So WOW is on Women's on Saturdays yeah. on KCAL 9 and 11. Well, Matt Simber was the director, and his connection to Rickless was they were friends from Hollywood. He's the the, the husband of Pia Zadora. Do you remember gotcha. Pia Zadora? Of course. So that's how we got the connection to the nice. Riviera. Nice, okay. So in my days of WOW, well, we lived in the Riviera. So the show was filmed there every Saturday. And then we lived oh, wow. in the hotel. You must have some stories. Yeah. That so in itself was probably... That, oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we got um, drinks and the buffet. <laughs> so we, we had to stay in there. And cafe back then, we couldn't go around with the, the bad, hotel. The with bad the guy, bad guy girls, girls couldn't be with the good girls. girls. Good girls and good girls. Yeah. And it's funny because now today we do tell a lot more of, of the real stories. And so my roommate was Americana, who was my biggest rival. She was the one. That's <laughs> but, but Americana and I were both trainers for season one. So after we did the pilot, we were then the trainers for the new girls. Mm. Along with, we had Debbie Dallas, who was a trainer. Um, and then eventually, I trained Nanuchka. Nanuchka oh, ended I remember up being her. one of the trainers. Um, uh, Debbie Debutant was Debbie trainer. Debbie Debutant. Um, there were several other girls after that ended up picking up. So fortunately for the original 12 of us, we were trained by Mondo, so that was... You that's know, huge. That's huge. It's, wow. And we, did, we just did a show with him. Last year we did um, LA Comic Con, and we did a panel with him last year. And so he, he's still around and nice. doing well, but if we can con him into coming out with us, you know, every now and then, it's always a treat. You know, I love so, it. I love yeah. it. And then we get to see Chavo. Chavo is the nephew. He is, yeah, Chavo and Guerrero. So, and so Chavo did the... the um, stunt coordinating for Netflix Glow and he's also the stunt coordinator for The Young Rock. The oh, new wow. the new T V series oh, okay. The Rock. Yeah. So so right. we see Chavo here and there too. So he's he's very very busy and stuff. But yeah the girl and I just saw Vicky and Shaw Guerrero um at where were we? Uh LAX Fanfest. Oh, okay. Yeah a couple months ago. So it's always nice to see them, you know. Uh, nostalgia is so cool that oh, you guys could still do this, right? Yeah, like, here we are, 37 years yeah. later, right? Who would have thought we'd be talking together like right yeah, now, right? Yeah. It's like, uh, I never thought that we'd I'd be done with Glow and we'd be, but with the Netflix research, once they saw our documentary, it rejuvenated Netflix something. said, hey, we need to make a show about them. And they did, and then of course it just released rebirth again and here we are you know so yeah so it's been exciting lots of fun and you know i'll do it until i can't do it anymore you there know? you go you, you do the rap okay we're the gorgeous ladies of wrestling yeah we're all champions in the ring we come we come from the city we come from where there ain't no pity slam bam it's wrestling jab come on ladies Give us a hand. It's a big bad battle in the ring. You've got to have fun and do, do the our thing. Own thing. Yeah! Oh, woo! Yeah. Come on. Give it up! We used to do individual raps, and I would do one that was something like this. I'm the Royal Hawaiian, and I love to hula. I got pretty flowers, but don't let that fool you. I jump from the ropes and I turn you to mush. You better watch out because I do that crunch. Yeah! Woo! Love it. And I'm going to second what the other gentleman said. You don't even look like you were barely born in 1985. Oh, yes. Thank you, guys. I mean, let alone yeah, in 2022. So, you look amazing. Yeah, Whatever you're doing, keep you. doing it. Thank keep you, that smile you. going. I it's very infectious. It, but yeah. I'm a grandma, and so I will turn the big 6-0 in April. Wow. So, yeah, so 60, and so 
you know, it's, it's, it's been a great run and I'm, I'm excited that I still get to, you know, participate in the industry and I do a lot of traveling and we, we go to different wrestling shows, comic cons, conventions and, and like this. So I, I like to give back. So we do a lot of, uh, a lot of the little girls that I work with, Roxy, Sunny, Daisy, a lot of the girls, we do a lot of charity work. We do a lot of animal um, fundraisers and things like that. So. We try and stay busy and contribute and give back to the community. I love that. Trying to help out the, the smaller promotions. Yeah. And indie that's wrestling, so awesome. it's always fun and it's exciting to, to meet all the fans after all these years, you know. Yeah. So, and they appreciate us coming out, so that's we what sure I do. do. You know, Thank I do you. it because I see, you know, the fans really enjoy it and they, yeah. they like meeting us and, and hearing all the stories and we like hearing all their stories. Yeah. You know, so. I'm in the process of doing an autobiography. Oh, tell us about we that. Out, we also um, have a couple other projects that are kind of in the works, but I'm working with uh, a classmate from high school who is an editor and a publisher. And so um, trying to get all that done and um, hopefully get that out as soon as I can. I don't have a time frame yet, but we're working on it now. And I'm trying to also work on a second documentary for the law. So we'll see. How awesome yeah. is that? So you guys can. You know, keep in touch. Um, I'm on Instagram, um, Royal Hawaiian 25, uh, Facebook, April Hom, H O M 25. Oh no, I take it back. It's just my name, right? April Hom. <laughs> um, I think, what is my Twitter? Twitter is Glow Royal Hawaiian or Glow underscore Royal Hawaiian. I don't know, but you know what? You I'll can put it in the description. I'll, I'll put yeah, all your yeah, links you in the description. You can look it up, but yeah. Follow me, and then I post wherever we're going to be, 